we'll be showing you more from the Ticket to Bollywood show on a later date. But now, here is more tax help from Manjit Singh CPA PC. Good morning folks, this is Manjit Singh and thank you for beaming us back into your household. T today, uh, April 9th, uh, what else can we talk in terms of taxes? Extensions, extensions, extensions. The deadline for the taxes is just 10 days away. Kusum? That's correct. It is actually about 9 days away because unlike past years, the deadline is not April 15th because April 15th this year is a Friday and it is also Emancipation Day. Emancipation Day is a District of Columbia holiday which the IRS respects and therefore the, that's a holiday so that's not tax day. 16th is a Saturday, that's not tax day. 17th is Sunday, that's not tax day. 18th is your tax deadline day. You have a whole three extra days to get your taxes together and file them and have a timely filed tax return. So folks if you have extra three days, that doesn't mean keep procrastinating, which I do. Anyways, so first thing is the Internal Revenue Service. They're going to be closed on April 15, uh, 15 because they are based headquartered in the D.C. Did you ever think about it, why they were closed? Okay, but they extended the deadline respecting the D.C. government. All right, so that's one critical deadline which has been extended to April 18th. For people who have corporations, the tax deadline for Virginia corporate is usually April 15th for the S corporation. We have received emails from the Virginia government that clearly and specifically says they do not recognize that DC is closed and therefore corporate S corporation tax return deadline is not April 18th, it's April 15th. That has not changed. And trust me, if you don't file that on a timely manner, the extension even, Virginia is very bad and mean on collecting penalty for late filing. Yes, you do want to get your extension in if you're not going to be able to file by April 15th. And I'm sure that there are several other states that follow the same uh, uh, principle as Virginia does. Emancipation Day is not a holiday in most states. And if they have an April 15th filing deadline, then they are going to abide by it. So you might as well get your federal tax return done too, I guess. Yes, if they, if they have the time and they don't procrastinate. Anyway, folks, so keep, keep an eye. And Kusum, I think you also have something else about our form. A word, yes, a word about extensions, of course, is that that's only an extension of time to file. And therefore, if you think that you are going to owe taxes when you actually file your tax return, use Form 4868, send in a payment. There's many ways to do it. You can pay by credit card at um, officialpayments.com. You can pay by phone. I think it's 888 pay tax And you can uh, file your extension electronically, even through the IRS website, through your tax preparer, of course. Or there is the old-fashioned way of sending in Form 4868 with a check. Take your pick. A word about people who are going to take the foreign earned income exclusion. If it is your first year that you've been out of the country and earned income there and will be eligible for the foreign earned income exclusion, then your extension form is 2350 and that extension is based on 30 days after you actually complete 330 continuous days outside the United States. So sometimes we have a client which took her extent, her 2009 extension all the way up to January of 2011. It's just the way that works. If you are in that situation, you might want to consult with a professional so that you get the form right. Also, taxpayers abroad do get two extra months. Their um, extension date is actually June 15th, and they can file in either the 2350 
or the 4868 by June 15th if they can make a case that they were abroad on tax deadline day. Anything else that we want, want to add on the extensions? Well, especially for uh, people, corporations, uh, C corporations that you might owe, well, you've already passed your March 15th deadline, but there are states that have an April 15th deadline. You want to make sure that you get your money in. Uh, presumably, you've made your federal payment. Now is the time to make your state tax payment. Most states actually follow the same March 15th deadline. We are in Virginia and uh, try to emphasize the fact that they do have a, uh, an April 15 deadline. You need to get your money in by then. Individuals in Virginia, of course, have a May 2nd filing deadline, and it's always been May 1st. This year it's going to be the 2nd because the 1st is a holiday, I believe. Well, folks, I hope this is good enough for the extensions. This is Manji. Till next week. And I'm Kasu. Goodbye.